Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in crypto and bringing out bite-sized pieces. Today, I just want to do real quick, uh, just the little things that are going on in the market. First up, we're going to talk about Kathy Wood and why uh, she says we are not in a bubble. So uh, if you're worried about missing out, don't worry about it. You haven't missed anything. Also, we're going to take a look at the, the Fed Reserve as uh, they come out and say that, uh, surprise, uh, Bitcoin isn't the greatest thing of all time. And also, lastly, uh, which is what the whole thumbnail was based around. I want to talk about to you about st six different steps that she and Chandra Sakara shared with us uh, because the uh, certified CPA on ways to keep your wealth or to keep those gains in your crypto. So we'll take a look at all those things. But first, let's take a look at what's going on uh, into the market. And I can't really put anywhere uh, different. It's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty great day. I mean, this is a day that we've all you know been waiting for. We dollar cost average. We bought the dips. We did the hard stuff when it wasn't easy. And this is our rewards. So, yeah, it's great. Uh, Mark caps 2.08 trillion, somewhere around 2.1. So that's good. Bitcoin almost hit 50,000, but you know, it just hits that ceiling of around 49.5, 49.7, and gets uh, rejected. But who knows? Maybe we'll hit 50,000 by the end of the weekend. And then uh, here's the hottest on Twitter. Actually, let me blow this up so you can see what I see. Uh, BiFi, uh, Avalanche, Adam Ocean. Those are the ones that are the hottest on Twitter as far as sentiment analysis. And Avalanche. Uh, just so you know, we did a we did a deep dive in that a couple of uh, days ago, and actually I have been working on this this video for about six weeks. So check that out over at uh, uh, Dan Clips. I'll, I'll link at the very end, or you can just go to uh, Dan Teaches Crypto. Uh, very simple uh, website, one that's spinning on my head constantly. It's 100% free. Just go over to on the very top where it says uh, you got blog and contact and staking. Just click on uh, AVAC staking. And you can watch those videos about how to stake with DNews. Also, uh, the whole thing about how everything works as far as with uh, uh, Avalanche and why I think it's going to do really well. So that's what's going on. Let's just jump into today's top story. Well, not the really top, top story. Talk about Kathy Wood. And I, I, I wanted to talk to you about this one because as things go up, people get a little bit scared. Like, wow, this is too fast, too quick. And that's true. But I want you just to remember just how early we all are. And it's not going to go in a straight line. We're going to have some peaks and valleys, and that's just the normal way to do things. Again, just what I do is stick with the basics. I can't tell you what to do, but this is just investment uh, uh, opinion, not investment advice. But what I do is I just sit back, I pick my spots, I dollar cost average, and I buy the dips, and that's pretty much it. It's not rocket science. But uh, um, Kathy Wood here, uh, she is the CEO of ARK Investment. Uh, she's been hit pretty hard lately because of uh, Michael Burry from that, uh, uh, the short film uh, where he shorted the whole market for uh, the, the eventual collapse of the housing market, the big short. And uh, he is shorting right now Kathy Wood. I think Michael Burry knew a ton about what was going on in the uh, residential markets and uh, uh, for housing and things like that. But I'm not sure he really knows exactly what's going on in the tech industry, but he has a massive bet against Kathy Wood. And Kathy, in this next minute, is going to explain to you why she thinks he is wrong. So let's just take a listen real quick. For our strategies, uh, I don't think we're in a bubble, which is what I think many bears think we are. Um, a, in a bubble, and I remember the late 90s, uh, you know, our strategy would have been cheered on, rah, 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 go, go get them, <laughs> right? You know, and you remember the leapfrogging of analysts uh, making estimates one higher than the other, price targets one higher than the other. We have nothing like that right now. In fact, you see a lot of uh, IPOs or SPACs coming out and falling to earth. We couldn't be further away from a bubble. And the reason for that is the innovation around which we have centered our research. Uh, the, the, these five platforms, DNA sequencing, robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology are barely off the ground. The seeds for all of these platforms were planted in the 20 years that ended in the tech and telecom bust. And yeah, it's true. So if you think like, uh, man, I missed the boat on this one. Look, in 2017, everybody thought they missed the boat on Bitcoin when it went above 5,000. And everybody thought they missed the boat on Ethereum when it went above 250. And everybody thought they missed the boat on Cardano when it rocketed up past 4 cents. So if you think that you missed anything, you haven't. 
uh, just take a look at what you think is the best option for you and uh, go from there. So again, I don't think we're in a bubble. Uh, I don't think we're going to go straight up, but I think uh, the the best times are yet ahead. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Let's move on to our next piece, which is always interesting. Federal Reserve Bank President, Bitcoin has no legit use. Uh, what's this guy say? So uh, this is Minneapolis Federal Reserve President Neil Kashkari. Smart guy, just says goofy things. And he says, uh, and I quote, uh, I was more optimistic about crypto or Bitcoin about five or six years ago. So far, what I've seen is 99%, let me be charitable, charitable 95% fraud, hype, noise, and confusion. So uh, I'm just going to answer him uh, with a picture, which is Muhammad Gandhi. And first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and you win. And it's not like this guy's job is in jeopardy. This guy makes a ton of money, right? But for all the different banking sectors that he serves and the, and, and the banks that are, are out there, this is a big problem. And now I really do get why China kicked out all the Bitcoin miners because they don't want to compete with that. They just want the digital you want. They want to control everything. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I think if uh, the Federal Reserve had their, had their way, they would have kicked the Bitcoin miners and they would have banned all the cryptocurrency and they could have just got the digital dollar on underway and bing, bang, boom, that is it. But you don't have that. And right now, you've got a lot of institutions, you got a lot of big players in the game and heck, you've even got banks uh, stepping up and going, you know what, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, let's offer Bitcoin funds to our wealthy clients. Also, you got those, those little guys named BlackRock with 9 trillion assets under management investing into Bitcoin mining operations such as Riot and Mara. So if we think about it, um, maybe the guy, maybe the people that uh, this guy knows are all the fraudsters and are the ones that are really into the illicit activity. Let me know what you think about that in the comments section. Let's move on to our last piece. Six steps to retaining wealth. And I have to tell you, this is from my friend, Sheehan, a smart guy, has got his own business, uh, you know, certified CPA. And I just thought it was a real good thing to talk about right now, because as everything blows up and you become a billionaire, whatever, or just a, just a little millionaire, whatever you become, right? Um, you have to keep in mind that it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. So these are the things that I try to look forward to. I don't try to just look at the day-to-day -day operations, but what's going to happen the next year, five years, and 20 years down the road. So this is just something to consider and just keep this in the back of your head as uh, all those crypto gains really uh, get crazy. So uh, step one, know the tax rules because I don't know where you're at. I don't know where you're at. I don't know if you're in the EU or USA, Canada, uh, South America, but everybody's got taxes, right? But just, and they're all a little different, sometimes majorly different in different regions, but just remember this, know the tax rules. It's pretty important. And then uh, tax 101, income is taxed at the time of receipt. Wealth is not taxed at the time of receipt. It gets taxed only when you sell. So step two, own significantly appreciating assets, such as a little Bitcoin or maybe a little Ethereum. Not telling you what to do. I'm just saying those uh, statistically, especially Bitcoin, have been the highest returning uh, asset class uh, over the last decade. Just saying. Sorry, gold bugs. And then uh, he gives you examples, stocks in a company and so on and so forth. Step three, if you got a business, uh, get paid a small amount of salary from your company. Don't you know, get paid a bunch. I've got my LLC. I'm the CEO of a couple of different ones and uh, I get paid very little. And that's just uh, how it works because I want the uh, uh, most of the taxes to go to the corporate taxes, which are very low, especially here in Texas. Step four, borrow money against appreciated assets. Borrowing is not a taxable event. Let me say that one more time. It's very important. Borrowing is not a taxable event. Cash proceeds can be used to live a good life, and make other investments that make you wealthier. In some cases, loan interest expenses can be tax write off as well. I will get that in a second. I'm gonna expand on that one. Step five, die. Don't worry, you don't have to do anything there. Just at some point, we're all gonna die. Let's, we're, no one's gonna be immortal. No, there are no Highlanders out there that I know of. Uh, at death, your heirs get the appreciated assets you left with a stepped up basis. basis. Example, you paid a million for a piece of land. At the time of death, it's worth 100 million. Uh, your hairs get it at a hundred million cost basis and don't have to pay capital gain taxes on 99 million. 
and there's some there's uh, a little more intricacies of that and uh, i'll have you reach out to Xi'an for that one and then step six heirs to repeat the same steps and compound the wealth in the last generation and that's why the rich get richer uh, because of they just pass things down over and over again they don't sell anything and <clears throat> in my own opinion this is what uh, i have done personally we all know that i took out a loan uh, with celsius and uh, i didn't sell my crypt my crypto i put it up as collateral they gave me cash i bought the uh, property in uh, uh, puerto rico a nice little condo and uh, that is a uh, an, an investment property so I rent it out on uh, Airbnb, does extremely well. It's booked 24-7, 365. So it's just, you know, money coming in constantly. The money that comes in, I pay back Celsius and then and off we go. And then of course the property appreciates. So it's like a no brainer. Why wouldn't you do that? But uh, that's just what I have done. Also, uh, don't forget, and that's just talking about um, loans and things like that. You can do a lot of things with loans. You can, like what I am doing, and I talked about this in my, uh, exit strategy, which really isn't an exit strategy. I'm still sticking around. Uh, I think 10% is going to be in cash, roughly. This is this is all subject to change, just so you know. 25% I'm going to put into stable coins, and that just so you know that is a state that is a uh, taxable event, which kind of sucks. But uh, there's ways of there's ways uh, to minimize that. We'll say that, and that's in USDC. I'm not touching tether. I've talked about that at length. I will never touch tether as best I cannot get out uh, into it. 15% and 20%, I'm either gonna buy land and or properties. I will be taking loans out against my crypto to pay for that. Just know that if you take out loans, uh, there is a margin call. So if there's some kind of black swan event, you will get the loan called in, just so you know. Like, uh, But it's very, very uh, low and Celsius done, has done a pretty good job, but just be aware. 10% will go into my business, uh, my Amazon business. 15%, I will just keep uh, staking it. Cardano, Ethereum, Polkadot, uh, Theta, and now Avalanche. 5% uh, goes into my crypto IRA, which is tax-free, and so on and so forth. So again, it's uh, look, it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. And uh, I will just finish up with this. If you're looking for a place to, uh, you know, for those different types of uh, institutions I talked about, Celsius being one of them, uh, all the different wallets and exchanges I've ever used are in a, uh, a spreadsheet. Link in the description looks something like this. And when you open it up, you can get between $20 and $50 of uh, Bitcoin, uh, depending on which ones you open up. And um, you don't have to use the, the affiliate links. You can go straight to it. I don't care, but you uh, lose out on the, uh, uh, the Bitcoin um, referral fee. So that's it. That's it for today. So look, um, I just want to make this a quick and easy one enjoy these days these are the great days and if you did what you're supposed to do or not what you're supposed to do what if you did what was as far as like a long-term investment ideals are which is you know just sit back don't sell too much maybe take a little gains here and there buy the dips i think you're having a pretty great day just just take a look out because it's not what you make it's what you keep i just want to make sure that you are aware of these things all right that's it so look if you like the video give it a thumbs up that thumbs up helps tremendously so thank you also consider subscribing uh, if you like videos like this where we talk about the news and we talk about what's going on in crypto and you like to increase your positions, then uh, hey, why don't you sign up and uh, subscribe? It's free. Also check out danteacherscrypto.com. It's 100% free. And that's it for today. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.